There's a bunch of people joining on Facebook Live, and that may or may not be because I put the uh, title TJ on Facebook Live, as you're not going to believe what just happened. Uh, spoiler alert, nothing just happened, but uh, I'm glad you're here. So <laughs> all of this stuff is happening like really, really, really fast after the creation of this media company, which is No Hook Media, uh, within the umbrella of our uh, life insurance company. So what we are doing is we are building an infrastructure in order to scale more value. Good job. Yeah. Impressed with your vibe. Yo, what up, guys? It's Gary Vee, and it's time for the daily bread. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket, because I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way, not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry, because it's time for the daily bread. shirts and just happened to throw this one on wish I had something that said fast but I don't but fast is the new big what in the world does that mean I'm glad you asked everything nowadays is changing rapid speeds and it's not always anymore that the biggest companies the people with the biggest followings, the organizations or, or individuals with the biggest budgets that win. A lot of times, it's the ones that are early adopters, the ones that can act, the ones that can take initiative and, and run with something uh, the quickest. And so, fast as the new big means that you can out perform large Fortune 500 companies even surely by the speed at which you attack your goals. And so moving forward, anytime that we have an idea, and there's good ideas and there's bad ideas, but anytime we have an idea that there is a consensus among the group that this is something that would be meaningful, this is something that would be impactful, this is something that would help move us towards where we're trying to go. We just act extremely fast and we say things like, what do we need to do to make this happen? Who is that gonna involve? Put a deadline on it. When does this need to get done by? And then we just start attacking. That's probably the biggest piece of advice that I could give you is if you have an idea, if you have a goal, put a deadline, put a date on the calendar that you will complete the first step, the second step, the third step, and put these things in action. If you don't, you will sit around and you'll talk about it and you'll think about it and you'll tell your friends about it and you'll tell your sister about it and you'll tell your mom about it and you'll tell your husband or your wife about it for the 15 millionth time. But guess what? Nothing will ever get done. Uh, this very vlog that you are watching right now is an example of an idea that came to fruition in a matter of a month. And I'm talking about an idea from no videographer, no idea what it would be like to have someone follow me around, no idea what the content would look like, no idea really how I could even pull off the fact um, that when I go into my meetings every day, they can't be recorded, uh, but the fact that I do have a message to say and I do spend a lot of time on the road and I do uh, think it's important for people to hear, uh, no idea what it would be called, no idea, 
what the common theme throughout every episode would be, but just knew that it was important to level up, if you will, on the level of content that I'm putting out. And that meant a daily blog. And so we just put that out there, immediately put a job post on Facebook that we were looking for a videographer, found TJ that day. Um, nothing other than pure law of attraction. A FaceTime interview with myself and the CEO of our company. And then moved from Maryland to South Carolina to take on this crazy project called The Daily Bread. The Breadwinner Podcast. And so I came up with this idea of the Breadwinner Podcast, obviously playing on the words with the daily bread, um, as a 10 to 15 minute audio only podcast where I brought on guests and would interview them. Well, that idea very quickly in a matter of probably three weeks turned into recording the first episode with Andy Frisella uh, as the first guest. Um, just being able to line up that type of guest as the first guest on the podcast was nothing but through quick, fast, immediate action. No hook media. We own a life insurance company. Uh, there's nothing um, sexy about that, right? There's nothing super interesting about the inner workings of a life insurance company. But what was interesting was the value that we were creating on top of running a life insurance business. And so we made a, another quick decision to combine all of our efforts and just put it underneath one kind of holding company, if you will, which is No Hook Media. And that gave us the ability to start scaling our efforts and building an infrastructure that we can, again, take to a whole nother level on the value that we're able to create and the value that we're able to provide you, the person that is consuming the content. So we've brought in another videographer and this has happened literally in the last week. It's all this stuff. It's like the second that we have an idea, we know we need to execute on it because again, fast is the new big. Nothing will happen unless you make it happen. And speed is the manner in which things get done in the real world that we live in today. And so guys, with that, I encourage you, all of those ideas that you've had, you guys have heard Gary Vaynerchuk talk about this a lot, so that's what B said. <laughs> How many people die with incredible business ideas still locked in their brain because they never executed on them? How many artists will die with that next hit song still sitting in a manila envelope in their file folder. You name it, like they're just, the world is full of ideas. The last thing in the world needs is another great idea. What the world needs is people to execute on the ideas that they have. That's what will make a difference. Friend.